Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> All right, quite a few people have been messaging me of late about this final major secret that is yet undiscovered in The Witcher 3. So I'm making this quick video to talk about it. It has been mentioned on at least a couple of live streams by CDPR developers, which sadly I haven't seen, but my viewers have been kind enough to send me a couple of clips to give me a general idea. Oh, and if the secret has already been discovered, you can ignore this video. Um, I've been living under a bit of a rock recently, busy with my kids and other real-life stuff. But nevertheless, let's see what we know. Initially, it was mentioned that the secret is in Blood and Wine. But then, in another stream, a few more hints were given. A developer said that the secret is actually in Skellige, and it connects to Blood and Wine. However, it isn't what we think it is. But then he goes on to say something which puzzles me a bit. It sounds as though it may in fact be what we think it is, except there is more about it that we haven't yet discovered. Uh, the secret you will not tell us about, was it in this map? Uh, no, it's on Skellige. Uh, but it has to do with Blood and Wine. Uh, but it's not what you think it is. This actually goes quite a bit further. Uh, so if some of you might have guessed, oh, it has something to do with that and we found it already, it's not that. It actually continues. There's something more with it, but I can't tell more. Please let me know how you interpret this. If there are any other hints, you can share them down in the comments. But based on that, here's what I think. First of all, the it's not what we think part has got to be the fact that Vivian from Blood and Wine goes on a trip to Kaer Trolda sometime after you perform the Seven Years Egg Ritual. This is the only detail slash secret that comes to mind connecting Skellige and Blood and Wine. I've already made a couple of videos including that, and in fact, the last time I tried it, it was still bugged on PC and required a console command to properly work after she was seen in Novigrad. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can check the description for the couple of videos I mentioned. But now, assuming that the secret is indeed about Vivian, and there is something more to the story we haven't yet found, let me share what I've done so far. I've tried doing Blood and Wine before the main story in Skellige, to see if Vivian's presence will somehow affect the scenes at Kaer Trolda, but sadly there wasn't anything special. I couldn't find Vivian on the feast, for example, or anything like that. Now, I haven't actually finished the game on that save, so I suppose it's possible there's something in the final stages of Skellige? By final stages, I mean, you know, the battle with the Wild Hunt and all that. Which is something I should probably check, but I doubt it. And I've also wandered around looking for Guillaume, perhaps arriving to look for Vivienne, but I could never find him. Also, more recently, based on a fan theory, which I actually discussed in my previous video about the crones cursing Vivian, I attempted to lift the curse from Anna while having Vivian's feather on my head to see if Geralt will mention her in addition to Philippa Eilhart, but he doesn't. Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. That might seem obvious. And also, taking the doll with the feathers does not affect Vivienne's curse in any way. Um, you know, because Graydon suspects that taking the doll from here will lift the curse from whoever's afflicted, but it appears not to be Vivian. Now, I suppose that's not in Skellige, so I guess it doesn't count, but I tried it nevertheless. And the only thing I haven't yet tried is something my viewers have jokingly suggested, which is to meditate for seven full years in-game to see if Vivian dies in Kaer Trolda. Now, in preparation for this video, I actually meditated for about a hundred days, and I gotta tell you, People ask me all the time, how come I'm not bored of this game yet? Well, I might actually get truly bored if I have to meditate for two and a half thousand times, or however many days there are in seven years. Besides, so far, I don't think there have been any secrets or details which involved so much sheer busy work, so I doubt that's it. However, it is possible. I should probably start doing like a hundred days per day, and eventually I'll get to seven years. Now, what if it's not about Vivienne at all? 
Well then, I don't have many ideas, to be honest. We don't know what happens to Sienna, except what Dandelion tells us if he visits Corvo Bianco, which is that she is still waiting trial in the palace. So I doubt she will end up in Skellige somehow, unless she's exiled? And speaking of exile, I suppose Detlaf is a more likely case. Perhaps he retreats to Skellige after he's been banished from Tucson? Although he'll probably go somewhere more secluded and not care Trolda. Other than that, I don't have any more immediate ideas. So if any of you has any information or thoughts about any of the things I talked about, feel free to share it. And in the meantime, I'm back to work on my next Details Missed video, so until then, thank you very much for watching, stay tuned, and be good. I'd prefer to play for pleasure. Can't get enough, can you? Whole castle heard you getting pleasured earlier. Got a one-track mind, Lambert. What are you, twelve? His voice has started cracking. Haven't noticed? Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Let's play.